Shalom, this is Ammon Ute, Tayek of Piscataway. Your friendly neighborhood Schumann, Sophia Spiritualite, the Amerukan Maryam. And um, this is a little video I wanted to make about um, my candles because uh, we have a change, we have an update, and I really think it's important to point this out how this particular um, this product that, you know, this this flower mix that was brought out to us, um, how it works. And I want to give an example, um, <clears throat> of, um, another person who had an experience with it and not on purpose either. Um, so first of all, I have here four sets of candles. These are my last, um, obviously the ones for the last moons, the last two months of candles, Scorpio new moon, Gemini full moon, Sagittarius new moon, Cancer full moon. Now what I will say about the October candles is that they did not, um, exhibit as much interference as these ones, um, did. Uh, I think that, uh, October, uh, was kind of caught like off guard. So, they, you know, wasn't prepared to interact with those ones. But then by, of course, you see the Gemini full moon, it is practically black all the way down. Um, there was a lot of interference. And so, um, <clears throat> but you can see the Cancer full moon, there's no interference. Now, these candles were all dressed the same except for one difference. On the Cancer Full Moon, I used that flower mix. And I was telling y'all that I wanted to see how it was going to work before I started selling, like, the actual candles dressed and all of that. Because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't, um, you know, that it would be useful in this purpose as well. And um, I think that, that this, is, this is pretty much enough proof for me um, to say that that is the case. Um, cause as you can see with the Scorpio new moon, see, I do one candle for me and one candle for Mary Karen. So there was some interference cause there's a little bit of black on there, but the Gemini full moon, like, like you can see it's black all the way down. The Sagittarius new moon even was pretty dark because I said, Oh, well, maybe it was just, you know, it's kind of interference on the full moon because I do remember the, um, the October full moon, which to see Gemini, that would have been, um, Aries, right? No. What comes before Gemini? Taurus. Yeah. Taurus full moon. It was some, it was some, some interference on there, but not as much. And also something else I just thought about is that the, the eclipses were on October too. So it's kind of like, that's just got a whole different vibe to it. These are like normal moons. Um, uh, anyway, so, but there's a clear difference in the Cancer full moon. It's clear all the way down. And even when it was, um, starting, the candle started, I could see that it was going to be clear all the way down. And I was like, wow, I can't wait until these candles finish so that I can show y'all because they're going to be clear all the way down. And in fact, they were clear all the way down. So, um, that just tells me that, um, that, uh, the, the flower mix does work. Um, if there is, um, you know, something in there that actually, um, prevents these entities from interfering with what we're asking for. And something else is that, um, I have a friend, um, who does not do any spiritual work at all whatsoever. Um, however, at this, the time when I, um, use this, uh, the, the flower mix as a bath, um, as I mentioned in another video, I got, um, sick with the, with the coughing. Well, I just found out yesterday that she actually, um, st was like violently up Chucky, you know what I mean? Like it was bad, you know, and that happened on, um, Christmas day. And so I was like, wow, that is crazy. Because when I went back and looked at that, um, that, that article that comes from, um, interference by ghosts. So, and of course she's been talking about ghosts because of, uh, she works at a location which is actually indeed haunted and, um, these things been attacking her. So I'm sure it's more than that, but she did some spiritual work. She'd probably fare a lot better. But anyway, that is to say that now seeing, um, 
what these things mean in real life. She said she was thrown up really, really bad. Uh, and, um, you know, it was, it was really awful for her as a bad experience, but at the same time, now that that stuff is off of her. So, um, there's only one more, um, response I'm still trying to see, which is people who have been affected by charms. So, um, I haven't heard anyone tell me that story yet, but I'm anticipating someone will have something to say about that soon. So, um, this stuff does work. We'll have the case studies for what it really does to people, what that, you know, that, that script means, uh, in, in layman's terms. And we'll probably do one, um, sort of a, uh, a breakdown in English so people can understand what, what's actually happening here. Um, since we're getting some more clarification. So, um, dress candles will be available on the website with the saints and the the Psalms to go with it. Um, and the, uh, the, the blend is going to be available. Of course, like I always say, I'm not gatekeeping the information. I told y'all how to, to make it. I told y'all where to go and find it. You can do your own. Now I do my own stuff, you know, cause I know a lot about our people and I add some stuff in there that actually, um, kind of do some other things too. So mine is going to always be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter as long as, you know, if you can't afford my prices, even though I don't have prices, but anyway, if you can't afford my prices, you don't want me interfering with your stuff, go out and do it yourself. It's no problem. You know, I'm there's the information is there. All you got to do is go and do it. Don't sit back and let these entities continue to um, interfere with you when the solution is right there. And that's my main problem with people is that even though the solution is right there, they just won't go and do it. You don't have to believe me. Look at these candles. I didn't do nothing different. I do the same thing every single time, except on this last candle, I dress it with this mix and now I don't have no interference. And now I have a person who's not even doing nothing who, um, you know, basically was able to be rid of this, you know, stuff just by proximity to me so you know this is some serious stuff this is this is some serious powerful stuff and it's very simple so it's also again correlates my statements that this stuff is easy you know people want to make it complicated it's not complicated it's easy stop making it complicated when it's easy man you know we're gonna stop doing that in 2024 the people who are trying to tell you you have to do all this complicated stuff and come through their programs and pay them. No, you don't have to do that. Now you should, because if you want to actually gain any, uh, wealth or prosperity, you have to spend with your brothers and your sisters, you have to give. So that's the, that's the other half of it. You know, it's not that you have to do it with them. You, they, you know, however, if you don't, you're blocking your own blessings. So, um, it's, you know, you do what you can, but you all, you also are, you also understand what's being done. That's, there we go. You also understand what's being done. You don't turn over your whole spiritual practice to someone else to lead you to wherever they want to go. However, you do spend with the people who are experts in their field. That's, that's really what we have to start doing. Just like these people, these doctors, they go to school for 12 years and they learn all this stuff and you know, they still can kill you without impunity on the table. Um, you know, we're not even doing that. We out here helping people trying to remove these spirits and, and all of this stuff. And, um, it's still people out here acting like this stuff should be for free. And even if it should be for free, that doesn't mean you don't pay. That doesn't mean you don't pay. So, um, you know, Anyway, uh, that's this going to be a common theme for the year because our people got to be of the right mindset. It's not that you are spending the money um, because the person needs it. No, no, we're not doing the church thing where the pastor says, I need a new jet. And you go out and you give them enough money to get a new jet. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is being in balance. When someone gives you something, you receive something in exchange. The church lied about what you're receiving in exchange for what you're giving. That's all it is. There's there's no other way to put it. They just lied. And so now we have to rebalance that by saying, no, the people out here doing the spiritual work, they need to be 
um, you, you have to give something and it doesn't have to be everything because it doesn't require everyone giving everything. All it requires is a few people giving what they can. And that really fills the gap and it opens the people who are doing the spiritual work up to, um, it, it identifies them to the universe as the people who deserve more spiritual, um, influence um because uh that's just how it works it identifies oh people are giving them money oh it's enough money to do this and do that okay they deserve more spiritual influence give them more spiritual influence the way oh this is a good this is a good point the reason why the church works is because so many people were giving these pastors money that it said to the universe, hey, these are the people that need the spiritual, that, that, that deserve the spiritual influence. So in order to rectify this situation, we now have to say to the universe, no, nah, these are the people that deserve the spiritual influence. That is why, that is what the money is for. And I prefer to do it in a give and receive manner than a, charge you for uh you know whatever it is man it doesn't make sense to me that way personally I mean I'm not you know I'm just me this is just the way that I think so I'm you know I'm pointing this out to everybody so we can all have a good understanding of what is going on here it's 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 not hard it's not complicated but it's different it requires us as a community to think in a different way so just like when I see people who I get value from, especially people who are like demonetized on YouTube, then I send a dollar. That's what I have. I'll send a dollar. But um, that's the people that are providing value and, and really putting their necks out there to get information to us that cannot be obtained anywhere else. Um, you know, and you have to make that judgment for yourself. But it's important to engage in a give and receive. And as you give, you will receive more. I will tell y'all a story. I, um, you know, have a creator that I give to. I talk about this all the time, Q Reeves, because I agree with the information that he's giving and the information that he's giving is filling in some, is, is really filling in some spaces for me. So his thing is whenever he does a live stream, he just asks for 20 blessings. That's what he asks for, um, people to do. And so I went once I, I almost never watch live, so I never get my name called out, which is good. But um, I wait until when, once I watch it, then I send my dollar. You know, I just I, I scrape a dollar from somewhere and I send it. OK, this is what um, the give and receive really looks like. Like this is what it feels like. Like, OK, you find somebody who gives value, you know, they you know they're demonetized. So YouTube is messing with their money whatever it doesn't matter it just gives you an opportunity to engage with that person and tell the universe hey this person is giving me valuable information please give them more information to share with me you know what I mean it's especially as the women this is why it's really important for the women to engage these different spiritual people um the ones that they feel are giving them value and invest in them because that tells the universe hey Give that one some more. We, the women, the daughters of Zion, the whatever you want to call us, we are the ones that are leading the call. So when we invest our money with different individuals, it is literally telling the universe, these are the ones. That's why the church has got to be broke down because our women have got to stop giving to these churches and have to go out and find these really spiritual people who can actually help them and not these churches. And that's why they got to be broke down the way that they are. And this has nothing to do with this any this far anymore, but this is information I really like need to get out there because I don't think people understand how, um, serious this is and how easy it is to um to change things it's it's not gonna it, it's this is just a, a some flour i blended together you know it's not nothing super complicated if i had thought about you know this is what this means then i i, I mean this is actually for me it's even crazier because i used to follow a guy um on bit shoot he got kicked off of youtube white guy who talk about um, 
um, timelines, but he talks about it from the point of an atheist. And so it's interesting to hear how they explain, um, you know, what or anti-religious, let's say anti-religious. I don't know if he's an atheist exactly, but he's not a religious person. And so he will talk about it from the point of history um, sort of repeating itself and how the re- direct. Oh, he talked about it in terms of numbers and calculations and stuff like that. Right. Very, very different from the way that I actually um describe a timeline or even a watcher does and he had talked about one time uh uh, he talked about how um pineapple could have evolved from grapes because grapes are on a bunch and then somehow they mutated to kind of form together and then you have pineapple well when i was doing this research on this wheat uh, one of the, the ways that it talks about it is like little, um, little grapes almost. And that's what it brought to mind. And it's like, wow, what if, um, there was a type of wheat that was sweet, it evolved into grapes and then it evolved into pineapple. Like that would be kind of crazy. This, you know, they, I don't know. I, it just made me think of that, but, um, and I can't remember why I was telling this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because Um, yeah, this is the kind of like, so I had already heard kind of like a similar thought process for how this stuff works and to just kind of have it come full circle with this, you know, this flower blend that does this, you know, it works against, uh, it works to protect you from the, the different entities, um, the, in the way, because of how it's actually made, what it's actually made from is pretty, um, interesting and significant. Well, you know. We'll have to delve more into that, of course, as we as we um, we we do some more research into what this stuff means. So anyway, this was supposed to be a really short video and I got kind of off track. But um, as you can see, like I said, in the experiment, our experiment has been successful. We're ready to move forward with the candles. I wanted to make sure that y'all would be protected before I started selling any candles. Um, and now I feel comfortable in doing that because I know that they'll work. So, and you know that they work because you see my experiment right here. So, um, anywho, I hope that this information has been helpful to someone and my ramblings are not too rambly and, uh, Shalom. We'll see you in the next video.